So what's happening in the brain when you take drugs like Xanax or Clonopin for a long period of time? You're actually developing tolerance. I'm going to show you what's happening at the neuronal level. In the brain, we actually have two systems. GABA system, which kind of slows things down, that's the white one. And we have the glutamate system, so our excitatory system that speeds things up. Let's just say everything is in balance. There's no drug action occurring right now. You start taking a benzo, like like clonopin, and it starts binding to these receptors and it starts to make them more powerful because that's what it does. We're going to start getting more and more signal on our slowdown system. It's going to make you tired. It's going to make you have less anxiety. It's, it's all of the primary effects of the drug, but the body doesn't really like that. The body wants to be in a state of balance or homeostasis because these systems, they're involved in all of our physiology, the way our hearts beat, the way our digestive system works. So the whole rest of our body is going to be sending signals up into our brain saying something's not quite right you need to rebalance how does the brain do this one thing that it would do is it's going to reduce these receptors there's going to be less places for them to be triggered and it's going to hopefully slow down this pathway so we're going to lose some of these receptors but also over here on excitatory system it's going to increase the amount of receptors here so it can give more of this kind of excitatory pressure to keep you awake, to keep your gut moving, to keep your heart beating, all of that. But over time, taking this drug chronically, it's gonna to lead to this imbalance. And that's what causes tolerance because you've lost receptors here and you've gained them here. You, you're taking the same amount of the drug, but it's just not having the same effect that it used to.